MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello, dear colleagues. This is Mohammed Abdul Ghani Siddiq, co founder and instructor of MR Chem OSCE course. Today, I would like to speak about an important station that sometimes appear in the MR Chem OSCE exam that is major incident planning. The scenario you will be informed that there is accident where there is large number of life casualties and they will arrive to your hospital soon and your role now is to discuss with a nurse how to prepare for that major incident. So during the one minute outside arrange your thoughts put in your mind the points that you would like to speak on. I have seven points to discuss with the nurse inside. First I should uh, tell her about the definition of major incident then categories of major incident then ways of communication between different teams then also about notification between also between different teams and then we should speak about preparation how to prepare to receive this major incident and then uh, you should explain how you are going to triage the patients and lastly the debriefing which is very important uh, at the end of this station so once you get inside the room as usual wash your hands introduce yourself and confirm uh, the nurse identity and position and level in the department then um, invite her for the conversation tell her that you believe that today she would like to discuss with you uh, about major incident planning is that okay yes she will say yes then uh, first ask her how much does she know about major incident planning she will say um, most likely she will say I nothing I don't know anything about major incident planning so tell her no problem uh, today I will discuss with you uh, all important aspects of major incident planning you start with her tell her that major incident is defined as an incident where the location number severity or type of life casualties requires extra ordinary resources because the large number of patients then tell her about the categories of major incident we have here three categories we have major external incident also we have external incident and lastly we have internal incident major incident is uh, there is large number of life casualties and that the hospital function uh, will be stopped or significantly restricted regarding external incident again it involves large number of casualties and there will be significant impact on the hospital function internal incident on the other hand uh, it will has or it will have significant impact on the hospital function and it's obvious that it's an incident occur inside the hospital promises then now let's discuss about ways of communication uh, for example between the uh, EMS and the hospital staff there is a mnemonic uh, it's called METHAN M-E-T-H-A-N-E -E. then if you can memorize METHAN tell her quickly about uh, each uh, letter M 
stands for major incident standby or declared E stands for external location T for type of incident H stands for hazards A for axis N for number of casualties and lastly E for emergency services but if you have if you have any problem uh, memorizing this uh, mnemonic please don't try to tell her about uh, which letter every letter stands of but just tell her that for communication we use a mnemonic methane and uh, tell her that I don't memorize it at the moment all of its items but we can review it after this session then uh, discuss with her the notification and tell her that we have major incident standby major uh, incident declared major incident cancelled and major incident stand down major incident standby means that there is a potential incident identified that there is uh, an incident will likely uh, most likely will take place for example there is a train with large number of people inside and uh, lost control and most likely or potentially the accident will take place this is major incident uh, standby and the hospital should prepare so major incident standby means uh, there is potential major incident identified and the hospital should prepare uh, major incident declared on the other hand means that the incident took place and confirmed already and major incident response is implemented or started to be implemented then we have major incident cancelled and that means the incident did not occur lastly we have major incident stand down and it means that the incident is over or special arrangements done already for example the life casualties taken to maybe to another hospital now let us move and speak about preparation and preparation uh, first of all the emergency medicine consultant and senior medical and nursing and administrative staff should be informed immediately uh, to set up all the uh, preparation uh, for example to uh, set up the hospital control center also um, roles should be assigned to all medical staff and AR should be cleared from patients as much as possible for example any patient for discharge should be discharged immediately and if there is any patient that can be transferred to the inpatient so we have a um, large number of beds and areas to receive the life casualties of the major incident uh, the staff should be given also action cards and the triage point should be set in the entrance of ambulance this is very important all doors of the hospital should be closed uh, unless or except the emergency department door and security should be informed also they, they should be dedicated relatives room and also um, designated area for the media and press uh, that is um, about preparation now let us speak about triage we have three uh, triage categories for major incident priority one priority two and priority three priority one those are patients are critically ill or injured and they require immediate resuscitation for example patient 
in shock or a patient in cardiopulmonary arrest or um, patient with uh, intracerebral hemorrhage for example then we have priority two also uh, patients in this category have serious injuries but at the moment uh, they are uh, stable and they uh, have no immediate threat to life at the moment but again if ignored uh, eventually they will collapse so for example patient with abdominal uh, trauma he is uh, vitally uh, stable but uh, maybe after 30 minutes this patient might collapse also patient with long bones fracture for example patient with fracture femur who is uh, vitally stable at the moment but as you know if not treated uh, in timely manner he will deteriorate so this is category two category two again patients has serious injury but does not pose immediate threat to life uh, at the moment regarding priority three those are patients with moderate to minor injuries then inform her the last point or uh, the last important thing to do at the end of major incident is to make debriefing so all the staff involved in the major incident uh, plan should make debriefing this might take about five to ten minutes speak about the positive and negative things done during uh, this major incident once you complete your discussion it should take about uh, four to five minutes then the examiner uh, will ask you to make triage for uh, four or five patients they will give you written scenarios every scenario in a different paper so you should make triaging as priority one two or three then don't forget to ask the nurse if uh, she understand everything if she has any question and tell her that you are going to give her some resources uh, for uh, further uh, clarification and also you will be happy to meet her again for further discussion that is everything about major incident plan thank you very much